The limpet system or land and storm maritime power energy transmitter is the world's first wave power plant built in the UK. It is composed of a wave energy collector and a wells turbine that turns this energy into electricity. Based on an oscillating water column technology, as the wave rises, air is pushed out of the system, and as the wave descends, air is sucked into the system. The reason why a wells turbine was chosen is because it is able to function no matter which direction the air is flowing. We will be using the following diagram to simplify the original prototype. Using measurements given to us by the Belfast report, we will be estimating the volume of air contained within the collector. To do so, we must first determine x and y. Starting by solving x using trigonometry, we are able to determine the depth of the unit to be roughly 8.87 meters. Knowing the width, depth and height of the unit, we are then able to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism of the same dimension. Applying the Pythagoras form, we are then able to determine y, which then leads us to determining the volume of the triangular prism below the unit itself. Substituting for A, B, C, and H, we find the following volume. By subtracting 2 times the volume of the triangular prism to that of the volume of the rectangular prism, we are then able to determine the volume of the collector at data. Thanks to data from the University of Belfast, we know that the average wave height at the location was 1.96 meters. We therefore subtract this, the wave height to that of the height of the collector and redo the same calculations using 10.54 meters as the new collector height. We therefore determine the volume of air within the collector when the wave is at its peak to be 1,277.52 meters. Therefore, 5,901.8 meters cubic of air are expelled when the wave reaches its peak. So the total amount of air expelled per wave is twice this amount or 1,183.6 meters cubic. Again, thanks to data provided by the University of Belfast, we know that the average wave frequency is 9.28 seconds and energy is 17.91 kilowatts. This results in an estimated wave energy of 6.95 megawatt hours. We also know that this transforms into 150 kilowatts of pneumatic energy. This results in a wave to pneumatic efficiency of only 2.16%. The next stage is to transfer this pneumatic energy to mechanical energy. Due to turbine losses, this was given to us as being 73% of efficiency. Therefore, there is 109.5 kilowatts of energy left after this stage. We then have to transform this mechanical energy to electric energy. And due to losses such as the windage generator and inverter losses, this total efficiency is roughly 53.73%. This leaves us with an end energy output of 58.85 kilowatts of energy distributed to the grid. This wave energy map, the UK, the west coast of North America and Australia are three regions of interest for wave energy. If implemented in these regions, wave power generated by plants such as the limpet system would be able to power all of the electrical needs of its population.